Okay, so here's a solution stoichiometry question. This is asking for the molarity of zinc chloride and we're given 30 grams of zinc. We're told it completely reacts with this one. That's not relevant. And we're given a final volume of the solution. All right, so let's start with what we're given in the problem. So that's gonna be 30 grams of zinc. All right, and we're trying to find molarity of ZnCl2. Now, molarity, remember, is going to be moles over liters. So we're trying to find moles of ZnCl2 over liters. But we're given grams of zinc. So we know in order to change substances, we have to get to go through the equation. So we need to get to moles. So if I look on my periodic table, it says zinc is 65.38 grams is gonna give us one mole of zinc. All right, now game on, because we have moles of zinc. Okay, look in the equation, it's balanced. So one mole of zinc gives us one mole of ZnCl2. So that's good. Okay, so now we have moles of ZnCl2 on the top. We need liters on the bottom and we're given 255 milliliters. Now you can either move the decimal and convert that to liters in your head, or I'm gonna take the little bit longer way, just in case, and just put the volume in the bottom, and then go ahead and write out that conversion step. So now we have moles over liters. Let's ask the calculator for help. So here, 30 times a thousand divided by uh, 65.38 divided by 255. And I'm gonna round that to 1.8 or 1.80, probably if it wants sig figs, 0.80 molar. And that would be ZNCL2.